Boom shakalaka. What is up there, crypto love? How are all of you beautiful people doing today? Welcome. Today we have an episode on how to set a stop loss on Bittrex, a very important technique to learn and implement to prevent you from losing lots of your hard-earned money in cryptos. Now, before we get to, before we do that, I just want to say thank you to everyone subscribing. Thank you to everyone mashing on that like button. If we get 50 likes, that would be so cool. Also, this coming Tuesday is Halloween, so we won't be having a late night live stream then because I'm going to be partying and drinking. But the next one, the following Tuesday, another late night live stream, 10.30 p.m. I'll see you guys there. Now, dude, just thank you everyone to watching the videos and subscribing. It's awesome. It's like heartwarming. It makes me happy all the time to think about it. Anyways, what is a stop loss? I'm glad you asked. A stop loss, according to the Google Dictionary, is denoting or relating to an order to sell a security or commodity as a specified price in order to limit or loss. Yeah, basically, it's a way to automatically prevent you from losing a lot of your money. And you may say, but why? I mean, Bitcoin's going up, cryptocurrencies are going up. I mean, it's all just going up. Why do I need to set a stop loss? Let me show you. You see what happens here in cryptocurrency is there's a coin and it gets a lot of hype and everyone's talking about it and everyone buys in and they FOMO, they buy in way too high. And then people stop talking about it and the price comes down and we don't see anything happening. If you take a look here at SiaCoin, all right, look at this, boom, goes up, moons, right, at 865 Satoshis and then now it's down at 63 Satoshis. That is like a 15 times drop. Yikes. See, setting, if you got in up here or even anywhere up here, that is a terrible spot to be in because if you're holding it, now you're just holding something that just kind of sucks. And you're just hoping, praying it'll come back up. And it's especially hurtful when if we look at that same time period, if you were just holding Bitcoin, it's going corner to corner. Just boom, skyrocketing. So having your money in an underperforming asset is no good. I'm not even sure if cryptos are assets. We'll see. Whatever. Someone will comment. But having it in Bitcoin is much better than having it in Sciacoin. So what a stop loss would do would be basically you set it at a fixed price. And then if it dips down a certain amount, generally, I like to set my stop losses between 10 and 25% loss. I like to use 10% just because, you know, 10 losing trades and then there goes all your money. If you use 25%, that's four losing trades and there goes all your money. So 10% usually works for me. However, cryptos are volatile. So sometimes it sells something that I don't want to have happen. And I should make this note. I am not an expert. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a professional trader. I'm just one dude who likes to make YouTube videos, who loves the guys who watch them, and just trying to learn, trying to make money in this awesome opportunity we have with crypto in our lifetime. Now, how do we do it? Well, there is a really awesome article on Steemit, and I will post a link to this article down in the description. So make sure you read this article. It just goes into basically an illustration, great picture of what a stop loss is. You buy it and then you stop, you basically sell it when you start losing some. And I'm going to show you how to do that. If we head over to coin, or not coin market cap, I'm so used to saying coin market cap. If we head over to Bittrex, all right? Let's look at Burtcoin. Burtcoin's a hot one now. There's a lot of hype. I mean, if there was Electronium on here, I would totally do that because that's the most overhyped thing I've seen in a long time. But let's use Burtcoin. Now, I believe in Burtcoin. I like Burtcoin very much. I'm not saying that Burtcoin price is going to go down. I'm just using this as an example, okay? So what you do is you have to log into your account. Once you do that, you scroll down to this trading section. When you're at the trading section, you can buy Vertcoin, you can sell Vertcoin. So basically, most of you, when you buy, you set a buy order, maybe at a fixed price, or maybe you just buy it at whatever the ask price is. Okay, so let's say 90,000 Satoshis is what you bought it at. Now, you want to set a stop loss order at, let's say, 10% for this one. So you just go to a calculator. Now, some of you can do this in your head. I'll just do it here on the calculator, make it easy. So... 90,000, we'll do a little bit of backwards math here, times 0.9, okay? That's the same thing as losing 10%. That's 
That means 81,000. That means that when the price gets to 81,000 Satoshis, I want it to sell automatically because that's going to stop me from losing any more. Now it may also sell if I don't want to. So I'll be honest, there are a few cryptos that I do not have a stop loss on. I think most of these are in the top 20. Actually, all of them are in the top 20 cryptos. So uh, these are big ones that may see a little price fluctuation, but I don't expect a major downtrend. But for the most part, probably 75 to 85% of the cryptos I own have stop losses on them because I know that Bitcoin's going up and up and up. I don't know what's happening with those little cryptos. <clears throat> so here's what you do. So setting a stop loss, you want to go over to this sell area and you want to set a conditional. So you click on type, you click conditional, okay? And you see this extra line pops up. Now we bought it at 90,000 Satoshis and the best time to set a stop loss is immediately after you buy it. That way you buy, you set a stop loss and then you can forget it, okay? You can take your profits later on. You can even use this to take your gains out, of, out at a certain point. Maybe I'll do another video about that in the future. But here we're just preventing you from losing the shirt on your back, okay? So what we want to do is sell at nine, no, at 81,000 Satoshis, right? So this is 90,000 Satoshis because there's a whole bunch of extra zeros. You can see it here. We want it to be 81,000 Satoshis. You see that there? You're going to copy that, paste it. So it's in these two areas under price and also this one sell one condition is less than or equal to 81,000 Satoshis. That means as soon as the price goes to 81,000 Satoshis or below, it's automatically going to sell. And you wanna sell however much you have there. I usually set it to sell the max, okay? So as soon as as soon as the price drops, <clears throat> I sell all of it. You can also sell, put it to sell maybe a little bit more. You might put a couple stop losses if you want. You could sell 50% when it goes down 10% and then you can sell the rest when it goes down 25% that might prevent some smaller fluctuations. And then you just wanna hit that sell. And so that's going to put a stop loss sell order that has a condition that when the price reaches a certain amount, when you lose a certain amount of money, it's automatically going to sell it for Bitcoin because Bitcoin is generally going up. We don't wanna lose comparative to Bitcoin. So it's really that simple. It's something that literally once you know how to do it, it takes less than a minute to do per crypto, but it's something that can really prevent you from losing a lot. I mean, take a look at the Sciacoin thing. That is just painful for people who got in here and who just have it way down here and are just waiting, hoping, praying, come on, something happened, right? So if you guys enjoyed this, please click the subscribe button, uh, click that like button, Come join us for a late night live stream. Again, not this Tuesday because it's Halloween, October 31st, but the following Tuesday, we'll be having another one, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. And then I will catch you guys later. All right, peace.